Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the romance releases that I am excited for that come out in June. Normally my list is way bigger than this, but I honestly was not able to find a lot of books coming out in June that I was like really interested in. Um, so this might be a short, shorter video, but all these do sound pretty good. So let's get started. First one, we'll see if it comes out because the date for this book has changed many, 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 many times. Um, and I'm really excited for it. A lot of us are really excited for it. On Goodreads it says this, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna get my expectations high. If it comes out, I will be so pleasantly surprised. This is A Dance of Smoke and Steel by Mila Vane. This is her next book in the A Gathering of Dragons series. It's a fantasy romance series that I love, that a lot of other people love as well. I don't even know who it's about. I just, I love the first two books in this series. They came out years ago and we've been waiting for this book for so long. It's kind of like The Bride Bed in my mind by Tessa Dare. Like there's always a new date, but then it doesn't come. And you're like, okay, what's going on? I hope everything's okay. Like, I just want some news. Is it coming out? Is it not? Like, I really hope Mila Wayne is okay and that we can get this book very soon, hopefully on June 1st. Next, I have A Song of Darkness by Jessica Spruill. Spruill. So this happens to be a no spice romance, by the way, and it is a standalone fantasy romance with the Little Mermaid vibes, which I love anything The Little Mermaid, so I will definitely pick this one up. This is about Rey, who is a siren princess of Aquarius, and apparently Poseidon has fallen, who is her father, and like the sea is in uproar, and she's gonna do everything to protect her home. So she ends up hunting down Medusa, who I guess is our Ursula character, and having to work with a notorious pirate captain who is Kai, who I think is kind of like our Prince Eric, but they are not interested in each other at first, which is going to be interesting. This book comes out on June 3rd. Then I have A Date with Danger by Jessica Faith. This cover, who is so cute, I need it in my life. This says it's a killer romantic comedy. It looks like our hero is an FBI agent and he gets roped into Amelia's life and um, she just happens to turn up at like every single investigation that he's been doing recently or something like that um, and she gets like roped into his FBI life. I don't know, it looks really cute and um, I'm, I'm loving this cover, honestly. This one will be coming out on June 4th. Next I have Beyond the Break by Tanisha Hadley, which is coming out also on June 4th. It looks like the heroine here is a professional surfer and the heroine is the new social media manager for his team. I believe it's also a grumpy sunshine romance, which is always fun, another little fun dynamic. So I'm really excited for this one. I haven't read any surfer romances before. So I'm always looking for romance books with like interesting, unique, sports because you get a lot of the like football baseball type but i want like surfing i want swimming i want gymnastics like i want the ones you don't normally read about next on june 4th as well we have wish you weren't here by erin baldwin this one is a ya sapphic romance i believe the both of them aren't really getting along at school these two characters um but then they end up having to i think room together and be cabin mates during i believe summer camp which will be interesting then we have the re-release for out on a limb by hannah bonham young coming out on june 4th this is like top one of my top favorite books of all time it's being released now as a traditional book with this cute new cover i am personally really 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 into the old cover but this one is fantastic i love it as well if you didn't know about this one this is the romance between Bo and win and it's an accidental pregnancy they have a one night stand that turns into more when win finds out that she is pregnant it has fantastic disability representation i adore this book and i adore hannah so please go pick it up when it releases. Then I have The Perfect Putt by Anna Conwell, another sport we don't normally see, which is golf. Our hero is apparently the youngest golfer to ever win the Masters, and the heroine gets hired to be his assistant, and he only has one rule when he hires her, and that's not to fall in love with him. She's like, oh, that'll be easy, <laughs> but the more time she spends with him, she obviously falls for him. <laughs> Sounds really cute. This one is supposed to be coming out on June 6th. Then the next day, June 7th, I have Fake Shot by Julia Connors. Our hero is a hockey player and this is his romance with 
a woman who I think is his best friend. Yeah, his best friend's little sister. She is, I think, eight years younger than him and they are actually also roommates. So we'll figure out how that is going on. But something happens where the heroine is on the verge of a panic attack after she's being intimidated by another man. So the hero kind of like swoops in to help her through this, trying to convince this man that they're together and that she's his fiance and then he just kisses her. Someone videos them kissing because he's like famous, right? And so it goes viral and they have to fake date or something like that. Sounds really fun, a fun book I definitely wanna check out. And this next one, ugh, this cover is delicious. Okay, this is Bourbon and Lies by Victoria Wilder. This one comes out on June 14th. Ooh, I wanna read the tagline for this one. It looks, it sounds so good. It says, in Fiasco, Kentucky, there is one rule, never fall for a Fox brother. Any woman who did ended up dead, or so the rumor goes. Townies call it a curse but I've lived it and I won't survive it again. So it looks like our heroine comes to this small town and is getting all up in the hero's business, calling him cowboy, skinny dipping in his horse trough, apparently. I don't know. Um, but she dishes out attitude from that pretty mouth of hers that has him wanting things that he's sworn he'd never want again. Whew, sounds so hot, so fun. This cover definitely got me intrigued. Another stunning cover to me that definitely reeled me in is Sweet Summer Serpentine by Rose Stantoriello. Stantoriello, please tell me if I'm butchering that. Um, this is a monster romance, obviously, and it looks like a hero is like a Naga snake creature. This one comes out on June 20th. It looks like these two characters have an interesting dynamic. The hero is the head of the botanical magic department at a certain college, and the heroine is assigned to be his assistant or like, um, like apprentice of sorts and the two of them end up falling for each other even though like they don't like working for each other at first but sounds interesting Ugh, this cover is just stunning I, I need to read it next is devil's deal by layla Fay. this one comes out on june 21st i will be getting an arc of this one because i am on layla's arc team but this is the first book in her yaga and the devil series which is a new series by layla she hasn't written in like a a connected series in a while, so I'm excited. Looks like our heroine summons a demon during the night of the summer solstice, and she has like this dance with him, and for one night, I think they're together or something. I don't really know, the summary is interesting. But then after that night, his bloodthirsty shadow follows her. It says where she walks, flowers wither and children sicken, touched by his suffocating darkness. So it's like darkness, death touch has like infected her or something. I'm already sold for this. And apparently it also comes out on the summer solstice of 2024. One that I'm dying for is A Love Beyond the Stars by Jennifer Chipman. This one comes out on June 28th. We don't get a lot of sci-fi romances with like non-alien people. I feel like it's not typical in sci-fi romances. At least one or both of the characters are alien in nature. So I love both of these characters are humans, which don't get me wrong. I love my alien romances, okay? I will never not love them. I am obsessed with them, but I also love seeing new things. This is something new. This cover is beautiful. I keep saying that about all these covers, but they are, they're stunning. This one is about Aurelia and Captain Silas Keller. This is a sci-fi romance featuring open door explicit scenes okay and it is a standalone romance featuring a grumpy space captain and his sunshine first pilot falling in love as they travel the galaxy that sounds so stinking cute i need it. it it i feel like this book was written for me next is walk off wedding by Marin moore this is the third book in her orleans university like sports romance series i don't want to read the summary for this one it does come out on june 28th by the way because i haven't read any of the books in this series but i want to like i'm dying to they look so stinking cute this release is going to push me to try and read the other first two books in the series because I need to. I feel like Maren Moore's books were maybe made for me possibly because her, her her books just sound so good and then the covers are literally pieces of art that I would frame on my wall. And then the last book that I have is A Tsunami of Sunshine by Taryn Nikolic. This one also comes out on June 28th. It looks like this is a romance with the maid of honor at a wedding and then like the best man and they have to be roommates during this stay at the small town that they're gonna be at and then they have like kind of like a benefit situation but then it turns into something more. So it sounds really cute. I'm always wanting like new small town romance series Rex, And this is the third book in a small town series that I definitely want to look into. Anyways, there you have it. Those are romances that are coming out next month in June that I'm actually really excited for. Let me know if you're also excited for any of these books. I would love to know. Please also let me know what books you would add to this list because again, I'm kind of falling short this month. So yeah, let me know what books I should add to this list. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a 
Let's see. Do the croissant emoji. The croissant emoji. I've never had a croissant before, by the way. Gluten-free croissants are very rare. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.